Hi there, it's Avery with ExpressGarageDoorParts.com. One of the most common questions we get in our tech line is how many turns do you put on your garage door springs? It's all based on door height and the diameter of your drums. Now this is your 4 inch drum. It's pretty much industry standard for most residential garage doors. This is a little close up for the drum for you. If you measure it across, it comes out to about 4 and a quarter, which minus this lip on the end, it comes out to about 4 inches. Now moving on to actually putting turns on your spring, basically a seven foot door will have seven and three quarter turns on the spring. Now we find it easier just to use quarter turns so you don't have to count the spring going around each time. So a quarter turn, when you put your bar in your spring, you're gonna raise it up and put your bar in. That is one quarter turn. So that'd be two quarter turns and then three quarter turns. And you're gonna count up to 31 for a seven foot door. And you can also see our chart on our website, which will tell you, depending on the height of your door, how many turns to put on your spring. 30, 31, 32. Now that is 32 quarter turns. This is a seven foot, six inch high door. So according to the chart, that'd be 32 quarter turns. Now notice, before I take this bar out, I have engaged the lock on this door. Also down there you can see it. Now if your door does not have a lock, it helps you can always use a pair of vice grips. Just clamp it down on your track, which stops the rollers from going up and we don't want that door rocketing up if you lost track of your quarter turns and hitting you. That'd be the last thing we want. So make sure the door is secured down. You can take your torsion bar, just prop it up just, just a little bit, just enough to get this other bar out. Let down very, very slowly. Make sure that door's not going anywhere. And then we're gonna raise the door and see how it balances out with how many turns we put on the spring. All right, now that we have our 32 quarter turns on this door, we're gonna unlatch it and raise it up and we'll see how it balances out. So come over here, we're just gonna detach the lock. We're gonna raise it up. Perfect. This guy obviously orders his springs from expressgaragerparts.com. Now in this case, when I put my turns on my spring, it balanced out perfectly. Now in your case, if you're putting lines on your spring, if your door is just a little too heavy at the bottom, or if it's really snappy at the top, you can always take or remove quarter turns on your spring. We recommend only taking one or two at a time for safety reasons. We don't want that door doing anything unpredictable. Now when you raise your door all the way up, make sure that those cables stay taut onto your drum. You don't want to be losing those cables when the door is in the upright position. Now if it was necessary to adjust your spring tension, especially if you took turns off of it, you want to make sure those cables stay tight against your drum. Make sure they have enough tension on that spring to keep that drum having the cables on them. You do not want to dump your cables. That is a perfectly balanced garage door. Now on our website, you'll find a chart from doors ranging from 6'6 six to 8 foot tall, which will tell you how many turns to put on your garage door. Now if you're not sure how many turns to put on, or if you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to give our tech line a call. That's what it's there for.